What qualifies as immune compromised? And is it okay if you don't want to mix and match your booster dose? Dr. Frank George back live to answer more of your COVID vaccine questions that just keep pouring into us. Frank? They sure do, Devin. So a viewer asks, can or should I get the booster if I'm pregnant? Well, the answer is yes. Pregnancy is actually considered a higher risk condition and it qualifies for the booster. Now, here are some more of your questions. A viewer asks, who is considered immunocompromised? Are you immunocompromised if you have high blood pressure or are overweight? Should anyone that has these conditions get the COVID-19 booster shot? Well, there are really two different questions in there. First off, people with those conditions are considered high risk for severe COVID and should receive a booster, but that's different than being immunocompromised. Having moderate to severe immune compromise means you need more than a booster dose. You need what's being referred to as a third or additional dose as part of your initial vaccination. The CDC considers the following situations as moderate to severe immune compromise receiving active cancer treatment for tumors or cancers of the blood, received an organ transplant and are taking medicine to suppress the immune system, received a stem cell transplant within the last two years or are taking medicine to suppress the immune system, moderate or severe primary immune deficiency, such as DeGeorge syndrome, Wiscott-Aldrich syndrome, advanced or untreated HIV infection, active treatment with high-dose corticosteroids or other drugs that may suppress your immune response. Now, another viewer writes, I don't want to mix and match my booster. If I did not have side effects with the original J&J &J shot, can I count on having the same non-reaction to the booster? So the answer is probably. The available data actually suggests in general, people are going to have a reaction to a booster vaccine that's very similar to their original vaccine. So, uh, Frank, I know a number of people are talking today about Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary. She announced she's tested positive for COVID in spite of the fact that she is vaccinated. So talk a little bit about uh, yet another breakthrough case that has gotten a lot of attention. Yeah, you know, I think actually this is kind of instructive in general. Saki was fully vaccinated, but individuals in her household actually became infected. And that's a very common source of infection for a lot of people. Yeah. Now, after her exposure, notably, she quarantined and tested daily, ultimately testing positive a few days later. And that highlights the importance of repeat testing after an exposure, even if you are vaccinated. It also highlights an important reason to limit contacts, that is to protect others around her, including in this case, the president. From your own household, even. Yeah, all right, Doc.